Thank you. May I now request Mr. Masood Husseini, Head Aerostructures and Aero Engines, Tata Advanced Systems Limited, to welcome the gathering. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is my honor to give the welcome address for today's function. Uh, I'd like to welcome the dignitaries on the stage. Uh, Honorable Shri K.T. Ramarao, Minister of Industries and Commerce, Information Technology, Municipal Administration and Urban Development, Government of Telangana. Uh, Shri Jayesh Ranjan, Principal Secretary of Industries, Government of Telangana. Mr. Clark Ledger, Acting Consul General, U.S. Consulate, Hyderabad. Mr. Vijay Singh, Chairman, Tata Advanced Systems uh, and Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited. Mr. Salil Gupte, President Boeing India. Mr. Banmali Agrawala, President Infrastructure, Defense and Aerospace Tata Sons. Mr. Sukaran Singh, MD and CEO Tata Advanced Systems. Air Chief Marshal, retired NAK Brown, Director Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited. Mr. BP Rao, Board of Directors Tata Boeing Aerospace. Other dignitaries from the government, customers, suppliers, partners, esteemed media personnel, all my colleagues from Tata and Boeing, both present here as well as uh, I believe some of them are joining virtually, my dear friends. Good morning. Thank you for being with us today. We, all, we are all gathered here to celebrate an important milestone in the Tata-Boeing relationship. The Apache AH-64 helicopter is the world's most powerful attack helicopter and is also used by the Indian Armed Forces. Tata Boeing Aerospace manufactures the entire fuselage, which is the most critical component of the Apache. Tata Boeing Aerospace came into being in June 2016. Within a span of two years, it went from a green field to a fully operational aerospace manufacturing facility. It delivered its first fuselage in May of 2018. Just to give you a sense of the the magnitude of the work that is involved. It has nearly 300 tools, uh, high precision tools that we work with, 2,000 detailed parts, uh, which are now fully made in India, uh, close to 50,000 fasteners, and many thousands of hours to manufacture. All of these have to match perfectly without any variances, and, we have and the most stringent levels of quality are met. Today marks the delivery of the 100th Apache, uh, from Tata Boeing to the Boeing company. So we have gone from zero fuselages to 100 fuselages in three years, despite the challenges that we had due to the COVID pandemic. I'm also delighted to share with you that the 100th fuselage has actually gone out with zero defects. This was a journey that we undertook. I'm delighted to say we've achieved that. <laughs> what has been achieved is a testament to the Tata and Boeing partnership it is also a testament to the ability not just of Tata and Boeing, but to India and our ability to industrialize and ramp up complex aerospace programs that meet and exceed all global norms of quality, delivery, and cost. I would like to welcome each one of you to the celebration. And without much further ado, I'd like to move to the next part of the program. Thank you. Thank you, sir. To showcase the wonderful journey of Tata Boeing joint venture leading to the 100th fuselage delivery, may I request a video to be played?
thank you for the wonderful video. May I now request Mr. Salil Gupte, President Boeing India, to kindly address the gathering. I have to say that, I'm going to take this off for a moment. I have to say that that's the first time I've ever seen the rap group Fort Minor used in a Indian uh, video. So congratulations to the PR team. Um, but a great, great song. Uh, distinguished guests, um, thank you so much uh, to the minister for joining us uh, and all of my Tada colleagues, Boeing colleagues. Uh, it is a tremendous honor uh, and a joy to be here uh, this morning to celebrate the 100th H-64 Apache fuselage delivery. Um, it's not just a number, right? This is um, a reflection of commitment of these two partners to Atmanirbhar Bharat and bringing from our standpoint the best of Boeing to India and the best of India to Boeing, right? That's always been our goal and this is a tremendous reflection of that. Because the Tata Boeing Aerospace uh, Limited entity here in Hyderabad is Boeing's first equity joint venture in India. Um, and you know, there's a lot that we do here in India. You know, we've quadrupled our sourcing uh, over the past several years from India. We've taken it from $250 million to over $1 billion US dollars. You know, I put a tremendous expectation on the team to take it beyond that. Um, but joint ventures are special. Joint ventures require a tremendous amount of strategic alignment between the partners. That is a major step. And we took that step, we at Boeing, with Tata uh, several years back, and we have reaped the rewards of that trust and that faith and that growth in the relationship over these several years. And I am so honored to be a part of that. Um, and that's why I'm so happy uh, to be here today. The success of this joint venture, though, is also a reflection on the growth in capability of Indian manufacturing in general. Right? I want to take a step back and think about the last year, year and a half, as we've all struggled through the horrors of the COVID-19 pandemic. There's this buzzword that has traveled the globe, supply chain resilience, right? About how manufacturing operations need to find a way to try to continue during disasters, disruptions. And it's those operations that are able to continue in the face of these challenges that can prove themselves and will be trusted to take on more work in the future. And this operation distinguished itself by working through the challenges of the pandemic coming together, finding safe protocols to continue operations and make sure all of its employees could still work in several shifts, do whatever we had to do to keep them safe, but continue their operation. And I thank our partners, I thank our employees for trusting in the leadership here to be able to execute that. That was absolutely huge. And the consequences of that mean that over time, Indian manufacturing will continue to grow because U.S. companies and governments around the world, which are important in defense contracts, right, because the governments are interested in where we make things, will see India as a place that is resilient, where more and more of this work can happen despite any disruption that befalls it. So that was absolutely important this past year. And then the third thing I want to talk about is innovation and technology. Because this is just not a simple manufacturing shop. There's a tremendous amount of engineering of some subcomponent assembly that goes on here at Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited. And the performance in that video that you just saw as it related to these 100 Apache fuselages were a critical part of the next big award to this facility, which was the award that we announced previously to bring the 737 MAX vertical fin 
here to Hyderabad and here to Tibau. The technologies in that manufacturing, the engineering, the full-scale determinate assembly, which is where you move certain parts of the assembly further up in the supply chain to, to make ease of manufacturing downstream, all of those are relatively recent innovations in aerospace manufacturing. And the faith that we as the Boeing company have in our teams at Tball to implement that creates tremendous opportunity for this entity in the future, but also helps burnish the reputation of Indian manufacturing in general. And it is so gratifying and so pleasing to us that we're able to do that here with our partners uh, in Telangana. So thank you uh, for that partnership. Thank you to the government for being with us every single step of the way. Um, and thank you, of course, to all of the employees of T-Ball that made this happen. Because as much as we are here today to celebrate, this is their day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I would now request Mr. Sukaran Singh, Managing Director and CEO, Tata Advanced Systems Limited, to kindly address the gathering. You're right. I, I don't think I can match that, the energy of that song. But, but I must say that was a wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, thing that was put together. Good morning, everyone, and uh, a great welcome to Honorable Minister Katie Ramarao and Mr. Jaya Shanjan and Mr. Palam Raju, uh, and all my colleagues from Tata's and Boeing and honored guests. Uh, it is indeed a wonderful opportunity to be here to mark a milestone such as uh, uh, handing over the 100th fuselage of the Apache helicopter from Tata Boeing joint venture to Boeing. Uh, but let me just say that uh, this journey has been um, uh, very long. And, uh, and indeed, it has been very satisfying. It has been satisfying because, frankly, uh, there was nothing here uh, seven years ago. And now, from nothing, something has been created, uh, which is for all to see. It is very satisfying because, at the end of the day, uh, the teams have performed as well as Salil uh, mentioned before me. But I think it has also been an extremely uh, long journey, uh, given the fact uh, that we started uh, pre-2015 in negotiating this deal. And it has gone through its ups and downs. And all of it actually helps in strengthen actually the relationship between Tata and Boeing at the end of the day. So it's all good because, because all's well that ends well. But uh, through the negotiations with Tata and Boeing and the learnings that we had about each other uh, in the joint venture negotiations, followed by, we must note, the groundbreaking that was done by the then Defense Minister, late Sri Manohar Parikar. Uh, thereafter, the inauguration that was done by the then Defense Minister, Mrs. Nir Nirmala Sitaraman, uh, in the presence of Mr. Tata, the Chairman Emeritus of Tata Sons. Uh, and today, where, where, where a hundredth fuselage is actually out to be given to, to Boeing, uh, is a matter of great pride. Uh, and I think, um, you know, I think enough has been said, said on that. But I want to just point out that in this long journey, three or four things stand out. One, of course, is the fact that uh, the government of Telangana um, has been remarkably uh, constant in its support to companies such as us. And I think to that extent, I must say, uh, Mr. Kedia, uh, this is a wonderful place to work. Um, the, second, uh, the second, of course, is the, the management team out here, uh, where, you know, to actually take a project, an ongoing project, which is actually working in a different country, production system is a complex production system. And I think we have to recognize that and therefore uh, really kudos to the team that has actually done that here. And 
and, and let me also just note that when this joint venture actually got created in 2016, a lot of, work, you know, the guidance that came from Tata's and Boeing as institutions, we, we obviously are uh, standing on their shoulders, the institutional reputation that exists in the Tata group uh, in Boeing. But let me also note that Mr. Tata himself uh, has been a guiding force for this particular uh, project to come through, right from strategic direction to uh, looking at contractual clauses and which one to uh, be fair. Uh, and if there's anything that uh, we have all learned is, is to be fair uh, from him. And in this particular uh, closure of the joint venture agreement in 2016, he had a big role to play behind the scenes. Uh, in the end, uh, let, me, let me just step back and say that uh, this particular uh, company, this particular uh, capability stands uh, in the midst of a larger Tata uh, effort in aerospace and defense, a larger investment in aerospace and defense, having consolidated all the Tata aerospace and defense assets under one company, Tassel. And today, it's a, it's a, I would say it's an interesting company where uh, while we cherish these relationships with global aerospace and defense companies like Boeing uh, in doing projects such as this, increasingly the group is investing in building its own IP design, development, production, which will be owned by the group, by India, in highly complex platforms. As we speak today, there are different teams in the larger Tata aerospace and defense that is trialing a frankly, a light tank that is amphibious, that can swim and shoot at the same time. Uh, whether the lake sits at 18,000 feet or whether it's canals in the deserts of Western India. While we sit here, I, there is a team that's trialing a gun system, an artillery gun system that can shoot a shell uh, further away than most gun systems in the world, which has more than 10,000 unique parts per system. While we sit here, we have people who are working in actually unmanning a large aircraft, um, uh, which, will, which are the kind of platforms that the country requires. And frankly, uh, recently uh, also in developing and productionizing what I would call a special application projectiles. So I think we really have um, a very interesting set of effort that is being conducted in different parts of the Tata Aerospace and Defense ecosystem in Tassel. Uh, that is a wonderful complement to the kind of work that is being done, not just in Tata Boeing out here, but also the other uh, initiatives uh, in this area in Hyderabad, including GE and Lockheed and so on and so forth. Uh, and, and I really do think personally that it is the combination of all these different organizational structures, technology developments, some with support of foreign companies, some with DRDO, and many by our own will, we will actually make it a much more meaningful Make in India. Thank you. Thank you, sir. To commemorate this occasion of the 100th A64 Apache fuselage delivery, may I please request Mr. Sukaran Singh, on behalf of Tata Boeing, to come down the stage and hand over the certificate of conformance document to Mr. Salil Gupta. While I request all the other dignitaries to please come forward on the stage and witness, and please uh, come forward for the photo op.
I would now request Sri Jayesh Ranjan Garu, Principal Secretary of Industries and Commerce and Information Technology, Government of Telangana, to share his thoughts with us on this occasion. Honorable Minister, respected Mr. Vijay Singh, Mr. Sukaran Singh, Mr. Salil Gupte, Mr. Banmali Agarwal, respected Sri Pallam Raju Garu, senior leaders from uh, TASEL, from Boeing, distinguished invitees, guests, also recognized uh, acting uh, CG Clark, members of the US uh, consulate. Uh, I would also like to convey my heartfelt congratulations to TASEL and Boeing for achieving this uh, milestone. This is indeed something which we should all feel very proud of, particularly in the government in Hyderabad, in Telangana. It is also very remarkable that this was achieved in three years, of which the last one and a half years have been a very, very tough time for all of us. But I, I must also let all of you know that uh, our Honorable Chief Minister was very clear when the pandemic started showing its effect last year in March. He was very clear that while we should take precautions, by no means should we curtail uh, livelihoods, industrial activities, industrial production. So his green signal to us that we must intervene wherever critical manufacturing is happening, not let them down. That really strengthened us to ensure the kind of support. So what uh, Salil spoke about the resilient supply chain, actually we should credit our Honorable Chief Minister for, for allowing us to, to make that happen. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, we have been able to reach uh, this stage today. This is also a very strong uh, testimony to the kind of uh, talent that is available, the kind of defense and aerospace ecosystem that we have been able to build, and most importantly, the enabling environment which the government has created for large companies like the Boeing and Tata's to really thrive and flourish. We have uh, been in dis discussions with uh, TASEL and Boeing to bring more and more manufacturing, more and more R&D to Hyderabad and I am sure that the success of the TBAL will uh, motivate them to look at Hyderabad and not uh, beyond Hyderabad at all. We have also been uh, requesting both uh, the TASEL and Boeing to assist the state government in setting up an uh, aerospace university. This is a big dream of, dream of our uh, minister. We have large number of institutions of excellence in the city. As many of you would know, we have the Indian School of Business, we have IIT, we have Triple IT, and so on and so forth. But because Hyderabad has become the global hub for aerospace manufacturing, aerospace R&D, aerospace skilling, the icing on the cake will be to have a very world-class uh, institution. And we have already sounded out a number of international uh, uh, players who have shown their willingness to collaborate with us and some of these include the Cranfield University of uh, UK and uh, quite a few others. And uh, one, one more in uh, Bordeaux, the aerospace uh, Aquitaine, they have also shown their willingness to participate in a, in a comprehensive uh, industry-led industry, -led industry uh, university in Hyderabad. So I do hope that uh, given the success of uh, TBAL, and many other such joint ventures, standalone projects, the, the time is right to take uh, the next steps in this direction. Once again, my heartfelt congratulations to the entire team which has been responsible for achieving this milestone. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, may I now request uh, Shri K.T. Ramara Garu, Minister of Municipal Administration and Urban Development, Industries and Commerce and Information Technology, Government of Telangana. Thank you and uh, a very good morning to all the dignitaries on the dais. Congratulations to both uh, Tata Advanced Systems Limited, TABL, and of course, Boeing India. My compliments to all of you on reaching this amazing milestone of uh, 100th Apache fuselage from Telangana, from Hyderabad, from India. So I think a 
good round of applause to the entire team. Like uh, Sukarn pointed out, you know, I was there in all three occasions. Uh, when the late uh, Mr. Parikar broke ground, I was there. Um, when Mrs. Sitaraman was here to inaugurate along with uh, the Chairman Emeritus of uh, you know, Tata Group, Sri Ratan Tata Ji, I was there too. And today I'm also happy to be there when the 100th fuselage is being uh, you know, shipped out of Hyderabad. So, uh, privileged you know, to be a part of this brilliant story because I remember you know, uh, you know, when this conversation from my perspective started back in 2014-15, my first visit to the United States as a minister, I had uh, the opportunity to meet some of the top management uh, from Boeing side in Washington, D.C. Uh, thereafter, I think parallelly, Tata's were of course talking to Boeing and uh, even the government engagement started around the same time. What happened subsequently was uh, we had a, a large uh, a team of senior executives fly down from the United States to uh, Hyderabad to Telangana. And then subsequently, both Tata, Advanced Systems Limited, Boeing, again, uh, the entire team came scouting, scoping. And then they said uh, they also needed their suppliers not. So the suppliers, a large suppliers meet was held right here in the city of Hyderabad with almost 100 plus suppliers of uh, Boeing. I remember also attending that event. So all in all, today, a very comprehensive uh, uh, ecosystem, thanks largely to Tata Advanced Systems Limited and their partnerships that they have forged with Boeing, with Lockheed, with GE and others. Uh, thanks to them that uh, today Hyderabad really encourages, uh, Hyderabad really enjoys a great reputation uh, in the aerospace and defense ecosystem. Uh, I'd be remiss not to mention uh, Mr. Vijay Singh and uh, the entire team of uh, Tassel. Thank you, sir, and uh, thank you to the entire team of TABL. Sukarn, you've been, you know, guiding us from the very beginning. Thank you very much. Salil, uh, he was just telling me, in fact, uh, a story, uh, narrating a story rather. And when the pandemic actually started back in March in India, um, I know Salil was a very worried man because he was worried about uh, what would happen to the manufacturing here and how that would affect uh, the entire supply chain and uh, what would happen to their factories in the U.S. But I remember a conversation, Salil, when uh, he just told me he was driving when he spoke to me. I advised him, of course, not to speak on the phone when you're driving, but nevertheless. <laughs> So a little, uh, we had a conversation, he said, you know, we have to ensure that the operations go on, we have to ensure that, uh, you know, uh, the manufacturing goes unhindered, while, of course, taking all precautions, etc. So my compliments to you, Salil, and, uh, on being steadfast, on being focused, on ensuring, I think, the service deliveries that you've set for yourself, on uh, meeting them as well. Mr. Banmali Agarwala, and, uh, of course, uh, the entire uh, team of uh, U.S. Embassy here, led by Clark, and... Uh, Mr. Pallam Raju, who is a dear friend and a former union minister. And of course, our local friend here, Masood Husseini, who is always there, you know, uh, telling us what needs to be done and when it needs to be done. Thank you, Masood, uh, for, for being a great friend also. <laughs> Just two or three things I'd like to quickly point out. In fact, uh, the Hyderabad-based uh, aerospace and defense ecosystem has been ranked number one globally in cost effectiveness by the Financial Times FDI Future Aerospace Cities Rankings 2020. The Ministry of Civil Aviation has also awarded Telangana as the best state award for 2020 and 2018 for the state with most progressive outlook towards aerospace sector. This only reinforces Sukarn's point about how Telangana is a fantastic place to invest, especially in this sector. Traditionally, as you all know, Hyderabad has been known as uh, the missile hub of India and has been leading the manufacturing and, uh, and has also been the manufacturing and research hub for defense industry since the mid-60s. Hyderabad hosts a dozen DRDO labs and major uh, defense public sector undertakings such as BDL, ECIL, BEL, HAL, etc. besides an ordnance factory also. Each of these institutions has nurtured and supported a large number of local MSMEs in defense manufacturing. In fact, that number is more than 1,000 today, many of whom also support the aerospace supply chain. Talking about supply chain, in fact, uh, Boeing India and Salil have just introduced me to two Hyderabad MSMEs with whom they have forged a new partnership, Azad Engineering and also Raghu Vamsi. My compliments to these two young entrepreneurs, uh, you know, on forging a wonderful relationship and I'm proud that uh, you're from Hyderabad and from Telangana. And thank you, Boeing, for this opportunity as well. Number of uh, 
state government initiatives led by our Honorable Chief Minister Shri K. Chandrasekhar Ogaru, you know, uh, legislation such as the TSI pass, which guarantees all clearances within 15 days, or on the 16th day it becomes an approval by default, uh, a deemed approval. This is unheard of in India. Of course, an infrastructure that is world class, state of the art, and dedicated aerospace and defense parks, and of course, creating an advanced skilling ecosystem. This is one area which, uh, as Jayesh pointed out, I would also like to request both uh, uh, Mr. Vijay Singh and also Salil and Sukarn. Um, if you could also, because you know you, you guys have invested significantly in Hyderabad, you continue to invest, you continue to grow along with us as, as our partners. I would really like to see an, see, see a, uh, an ISB like Indian School of Business like setup for the aerospace and defense industry where we create a world-class skilling and learning institution, which will ensure that uh, not only does Hyderabad uh, produce world-class employees for your facilities here, but also possibly for your facilities elsewhere in the world as well. That is something that I truly believe can happen, provided we collaborate, provided we work together. Government of Telangana, as I pointed out, has identified aerospace and defense as a priority sector, and we continue to grow this space. In fact, we already have uh, uh, nearly seven uh, dedicated industrial parks for this sector are the Batla, which is where you are, Nadar Gul, the GMR Aerospace SEZ, the Adani Aerospace Park, and uh, we have a couple more lined up also, uh, which we are going to unveil soon. As I also pointed out, not just research and development and manufacturing, but uh, innovation is another area where I think uh, industries such as aerospace and defense can uh, do a lot in a, in, a, in, a, in a country like India and more particularly in a state like Telangana. In fact, I remember a program which uh, Boeing had run along with the T-Hub, uh, a corporate innovation program called as Horizon X. As part of this program, Boeing had identified certain set of challenges uh, which needed tweaking, which needed innovation. And eight startups from all over India uh, were finalized and were uh, given an opportunity to work on some challenges. And I do believe the opportunity to do more, the opportunity to innovate more, find more solutions, create you know, value is, is, is out there for us to be able to take it up. I'm delighted that uh, not just the defense piece of Boeing, but as uh, Salil pointed out, even the civil aviation piece, the vertical fins, will also now be manufactured uh, from your TABL facility, tablet facility here in, uh, in Hyderabad. I'm delighted because it's a, it's a big move. I'm delighted because it's a, it's a very big, uh, you know, step ahead. And I do believe that there are a couple more pieces which can also be done from Hyderabad, uh, Salim. One is, of course, I was, I was, like I pointed out, the defense electronics piece, which I think uh, the potential to do uh, more in India uh, is, is uh, up for the grabs, is something that we need to look at closely. The other thing I also, of course, I keep reminding you that um, we have uh, better infrastructure than Bangalore, so I think you should uh, seriously consider more research and development activity also happen uh, from Hyderabad. Bangalore is already crowded. Bangalore is uh, where you don't know when you'll catch your next flight at what time, so therefore um, seriously consider uh, Telangana and Hyderabad for that as well. I think I've said enough. Um, congratulations to the entire team. I look forward to being part of many, many more milestones down the road. Thank you very much for this uh, invitation. Thank you, sir. May I now, now request Mr. Vishal Sangvi, Chief Operating Officer, Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited, to deliver the vote of thanks. To all the dignitaries on the stage, uh, to all my colleagues from Tata and Boeing, both present here as well as those who have joined virtually, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to propose a vote of thanks uh, on this momentous occasion. I, on behalf of Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited, extend a very uh, hearty vote of thanks to all the dignitaries uh, on the stage uh, gracing this uh, important occasion. We are extremely grateful to the government of Telangana for proactively and timely support uh, they, have, they have provided to the aerospace and defense manufacturing industry over here and Tata Boeing and Tata Advanced Systems uh, in particular. 
This has helped us put Hyderabad on the global map of aerospace and defense uh, manufacturing. And especially thanks to uh, Sri Jayesh Anjan sir for always being there to help us for any issue, any problem that we need their support for. We would also like to thank uh, the police of uh, uh, Telangana uh, uh, who has helped ensure the safety and security of all our facilities and of all our employees during all the time. So thank you so much for that. Uh, I am also grateful uh, to the fantastic, wonderful uh, leadership that we have received uh, from the Tata and Boeing leadership and especially to the from the Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited Board of Directors. Thank you, sir. We wouldn't have been able to achieve this without your support. <laughs> Further, I am grateful to our customers, uh, Boeing, uh, the Boeing team from Mesa, Philadelphia, uh, Hyderabad, Delhi, uh, all of them uh, that have helped uh, collaborate uh, and further grow this partnership. Thank you so much. Uh, this uh, 100 television testament to our partnership. Finally, I would like uh, to give a big thank you and a big congratulations to Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited team and all our partners over here in the Tata Advanced Systems which has helped us achieve uh, this delivery of 100 fuselage from the Tata Boeing Friends facility. A big round of applause to all of you. Thank you and here's to a thousand more. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I now request everyone to remain seated while the dignitaries proceed for lunch.